Hey yo, what is up guys? So for today's video, I'm going to give you guys a quick short guide on how to use DDU to basically do a clean driver install. To begin with, um, you're going to find two links in the description below. The first one is going to be for DDU download itself. Just go to Wagner Soft. Uh, just click the download button here, it should be fine. And then just go to the other link. It's basically AMD drivers or AMD drivers. If you're on an AMD card, I'll have those in the link in the description below. So the first thing you want to do once you have everything downloaded, is basically just double click the DDU, extract it to your desktop, wherever you want it to. Basically what it'll do is it'll extract the files and have the DDU software itself here. So the next thing you want to do is go to msconfig, type in Windows key R, and then press msconfig, press OK. Go to the boot tab, go to whatever Windows version you're on. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to do Windows 2004. Uh, click on safe boot, click apply, press OK, and then press restart. Basically what this will do is you're going to be basically booting into safe mode. And from there, we're gonna go through the DDU and uninstall your drivers. Another thing I forgot to mention earlier is basically when you go to your device manager, or to wherever your basically Intel network ethernet is, or if you're running Wi-Fi, whichever one it is, um, personally I'm running ethernet, basically you just wanna right click wherever your ethernet is, click disable device, press yes. Basically what this does is obviously disable your ethernet. Basically this makes it so that once you restart back into Windows, once you've uninstalled your drivers, Windows cannot connect to the internet and install its drivers automatically because otherwise you have to repeat this process. So once you're done installing your drivers, basically just go back into device manager and re-enable this and you'll have internet again. Yeah, this is a very important step to make sure you don't have to repeat the process over again because it gets really annoying because Microsoft always reinstalls drivers once you do a clean reinstall. So make sure you don't skip this step. So first of all, apologies for the shitty video camera. I'm just recording on my iPhone. I don't have a personal capture card, so it's the best I can do. But basically, once you're in save mode, go to MS Config again, go to boot, go to whatever your drive is, Me 2004, untick safe boot, press apply, press OK, and then press exit without restart. It's very important. So basically, it navigates wherever you have your DDU installed, double click it, um, to run a DDU, and basically that prompt um, happens every time you uh, do a fresh install and open it, so just ignore it. Go to your GPU and then select either NVIDIA or AMD. Uh, personally, I'm running an NVIDIA system, so I clicked NVIDIA. Basically, you just press clean and restart, and that's literally all you have to do. It's going to run automatically and restart your computer back into normal Windows. Basically, what this does is cleans out all your old registry files, all your old folders. So basically, it makes it seem like you have a fresh Windows 10 install. So it builds everything from the ground up. And once it's done, it'll automatically restart your PC and boot you back into normal Windows. So you're back in Windows, um, go to wherever you have your NVIDIA driver install. Uh, basically just double click it, open it, um, so extract your desktop. Usually takes around like a minute or so. Um, basically just fast forward through this process. Um, once it's done, basically you just want to go through like it's a normal driver install. Uh, a lot of this is personal preference. The only thing you really need to change is basically a uh, tick perform a clean installation. That helps clean out any uh, residue old settings you have that may conflict with your current driver install. Um, but that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do. I personally untick physics, uh, the HD audio driver, and the GeForce experience because I don't use it. But again, that's personal preference. Just do whatever your use case is and go from there. So yeah, once the NVIDIA installer is actually done, that's pretty much all you have to do. I'm not going to show you guys the actual NVIDIA control panel settings because that's the purpose of this video. If you guys don't know what settings I use, I'll have a link to my other video in the description below. Um, I have a literally entire video where I go over each different settings and why I use them. So that's going to be for this video. If this helped you at all, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, peace.